cha cha parlami del Sud America quello che dicono laggiù forse è fantasia e nulla più bongo la bongo cha 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 è davvero così fantastica hello everyone I'm Isabella and this is Martin. This is our parents' uh, memory lane. We are going to sit through their life and uh, you are welcome to eat. Um, this is where it all started, right here. They know more about the story of uh, when and how they met, but this is as far back as I remember, and that is in pictures. Uh, first, it was two, and then there were nine minus the two. That is seven kids, two parents. We've grown, we're now seven. There is Baho Martin, who is our firstborn. Then the second one is Isaac Agava. Uh, third is uh, Abaho Ivan. Fourth is the one to my right, Akantora and Isabella. The fifth is Kevin Atkunda. Then the sixth is Ishita Akantunga. And then our last one is Deborah Arinda. On top of uh, us being uh, nine, uh, our parents have ensured that we have a bond. They have done a lot in uh, nurturing us. We have had a couple of stories from when we were kids, some of which we are not witnesses to. They have instilled a number of core values that we have followed to this day and values that are going to continue to guide us even beyond this day. Uh, there are plenty, there are very many, but there are those that were core, the principal values. Um, there were four. So we had, we chose to talk about them being God fearing, hard working, um, the educationalist and very family oriented. Uh, when it comes to the whole God fearing aspect, they have always put it first. Going to church when we were kids was a must, was a guarantee, starting with Sunday school. We didn't skip any level. We went through the Bible stories, both the ones told at Sunday school and the ones told at home. Uh, we have been baptized in church we have been confirmed we have all stuck to the church we were born in that is the anglican church on top of that they have brought in religious mentors uh, we have been blessed and very lucky to have the archbishop as a friend of our family the archbishop emeritus that is uh, the right reverend uh, dr henry luke uh, we have been blessed and privileged to have occasional stints with him uh, prayers from him, uh, I believe, have taken us to different levels. He actually named our last born Deborah, and for that note, he's a very big part in our lives. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank him. Thank you so much, Bishop Luke Orombi, for being a mentor, for being very exemplary, and we really look up to you. As much as we are God-fearing, our parents are also very keen on education. They have invested so much for us to go to the best schools, to go to the biggest universities in the world, and they've been there for our VDs. They come, they would come randomly to visit. Um, I, I remember a time Dad came back, I think it was from uh, the US, and he insisted on visiting each and every one. I was, I think, maybe at campus, I think, because I picked him from the airport, and he insisted on making sure he reaches at everyone's school to see how we're doing. They gave us advice on which course to go for, which courses to apply for. This uh, fed into our careers, uh, but then, they, they didn't stop there. They put a lot of emphasis on is being very hardworking. That 
that is depicted majorly in what you see of them, what they have achieved, what they have come up with. Uh, they have run a couple of uh, businesses. First, of course, they started with their work careers professionally and they have uh, put up a couple of businesses, some of which uh, you may know of. There is uh, the hotel in Masaka, which is successful, uh, a bakery. And actually, the hotel was a home, our home before it became a, a hotel. We lived with our cousins and now seeing it as a hotel is just a very prestigious hotel at that. It, it shows that they're quite hard working and we look up to them and we hope to do better and keep on their legacy. As much as we've talked about all these core values, I think the main important one that our dad has really instilled in us is being family oriented. Our dad has insisted on all of us being available for the festive season. Like I said, we have been uh, blessed to have a couple of us study in the best universities in, uh, in the world. In, uh, the emphasis is on UK here because they have been that and he has made sure each of us return during the festive season. Uh, while while away, he, he you know the Zoom calls yeah. we occasionally had. During COVID, some of us were not able to travel back, but he would make sure we have the Zoom meetings, pray together, ask us about our routines, how we are. Also, during holidays, we'd go to, to game parks, to amusement parks. I feel like we've been going to Lake Mburu <laughs> National Park for a good number of times. At a point I thought the animals actually knew us. Like. <laughs> that has helped a lot. You can see the bond we have. This, this is just uh, a sample of uh, the seven plus our parents. This is the bond we share. This is the bond every one of us shares, every one of us holds, because it has been instilled from when we are children. The roots have developed this bond and it's one we are forever going to keep. <laughs> Boy. Uh, we are, in addition to what they did, they, are, they, are, they have been serious disciplinarians in different ages of our lives. Mum was the earlier disciplinarian when we were younger. As you grow older, the mantle is passed on to dad. It's like a really of discipline. Uh, that one, I would say, or, you know, Ishita or Kevin? I, Ishita, I think Ishita, because <laughs> none of us see the canes we received, you're a bit younger, you, you remember a couple uh, stints of it, but Ishita was, uh, and Ishita and Kevin, top the list of uh, the canes received most. I would call, I think my mom. Uh, personally, to be honest, uh, I know how much they freak out uh, in case we are sick uh, I would call dad he freaks out a bit less mom should freak out if you call and told her you are sick should blow it up to a huge magnitude so dad would be my immediate go-to person in case I'm sick uh, if I had a dark secret I would reach out to dad like I said he would freak out less I would be I would want to communicate more to his uh, objective side, less of his subjective side. For me, I feel like, of course, different genders understand themselves much better. So I think I would talk to mom because I feel like she'd understand me on a more. Dad. Dad, definitely, definitely. Dad. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he has, he's a very romantic he's a... person and he's loud about his love for her. A very funny one. I believe his sense of humor came in handy in uh, winning her over. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, you can't delve much into uh, the whole family and what we have seen, but he has been. Uh, very romantic all the way. So he asked out, he presented the idea. So we are very grateful. We thank God for getting them to these 25 years. It feels like just yesterday when it all started, when uh, 
unfortunately i can't mention the names to me it's daddy words mommy it, it it has never been anything else so it feels just like yesterday but here we are 25 years later we keren ni ngushwera ne mpeteji ni ngushwera ne mpeteji ni ngwechiti nsano mbirugwanje we do wish them another 50, another 70, another 75. I know Jubilees are celebrated in 25, 50, 75, and, but we wish them 50 we wish them 75 more years together alive and prospering with us following suit and uh, living up to the example and making them proud words cannot express how much we are grateful for all the things you've done for us for being present and we pray that god blesses you with everlasting joy with good health more wealth and many more years to see our children and your great grandchildren. I don't know, I can't say I know much about their plans. I would have wished them uh, to have uh, more kids, but I think they are <laughs> done by <laughs> now, really. They are enough. as good as done. So we wish them um, health, wealth, and we, we do promise we are going to live up to the reputation and the legacy they have created. We are going to fight hard because the challenge they have put in front of us is very immense to match what they have done. So we promise we are going to work very hard to make sure we meet their expectations and in the process also be successful and have something like this when our time comes. So we are very grateful for everyone. We are very grateful to God, most importantly, for making this possible. Thank you very, very much. At Kunda Kevin, <laughs> so you just I'm sorry. at Kunda Kevin, a Canton Gaishita comes in in sixth. Yeah. You. I can't remember. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Henry Luke Orombi. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah. The Archbishop. The most. Ha <laughs> ha